Hi, this is Ryan Navarro, Applications Engineer at Hawkridge Systems. And this is the second video where we're covering the new features of eDrawings 2019. In this video, I'll specifically be covering how eDrawings can manage SOLIDWORKS configurations and the great new web HTML export available in eDrawings Professional. So as far as parts or assemblies that have multiple configurations out of SOLIDWORKS, we've always been able to do a file published to eDrawings, which would then allow you to choose which configurations uh, you want to have exported. But this requires that you actually publish out the eDrawings document, right? And if you have users that are using the eDrawings viewer to browse out to your SOLIDWORKS files, they wouldn't necessarily get the configuration functionality. So that method I just showed uh, of pushing out, this pushed out an EPRT file, or if it was an assembly, it would be an EASM. And that would require me to initiate that push from SOLIDWORKS in order to be able to access these different configurations. Okay. If I were to close this and actually do a file open from eDrawings and browse out to that same directory, and open that SOLIDWORKS file, you'd see that the configurations are not available. But for 2019, they did add the ability to be able to reference configurations off a native SOLIDWORKS file if you want to. It just requires going over to the SOLIDWORKS configuration tree and where you have your configurations that you want to make available, you right click them and add this display data mark. And this will also make these configurations available in like a large design review if you do this in an assembly. So adding this data mark, you'll see this, this will tell it to save the graphics data um, on these various configurations, which is what eDrawings uses to generate its views. So if I reopen that model now with those display markers enabled, you can see I now have configuration access off of the native SOLIDWORKS part file. This is actually a great enhancement, again, for organizations where you have users that are using eDrawings to access your native SOLIDWORKS parts and assemblies. Now you can have configuration data available so long as you place these display data marks on the appropriate configurations. So that's the first enhancement I wanted to go over, and then the second is my favorite. This is new web HTML export from eDrawings. Now, if you're familiar with eDrawings, you might know, hey, we've always had the ability to do a file, save as, and save it out as an HTML, but this is a ActiveX HTML. This is something that would require a special plugin, and it only really worked with Internet Explorer. So it wouldn't work on your mobile devices. Um, it's very limited in terms of what it could do. And it's just not exactly what people wanted. So now using eDrawings Professional, which I'll go ahead and activate here, we have the ability to save out as a eDrawing web HTML file, which is a new format it uses WebGL graphics, which is a really modern, nice way to save out these documents. So if I just click save on that, that's just going to create an HTML. It's not going to require any plugins. So let me open up my folder that just went to. And you'll see I have an HTML file here, which if I open into my web browser, it's going to load up. Again, no plugins required. I can I get great performance actually panning and zooming in here. I have access to my different configurations in this case. Um, I can do section views and all kinds of stuff right from within my web browser. This works great on mobile devices too. Really, any web browser that you want can access these HTMLs and these can actually easily be embedded into a website in an iframe or by whatever other method you want. So I am I'm really happy about this. I have a couple of different example outputs that I'll share with you here. Um, relatively small assembly that we were looking at earlier. Again, great ability to section based on whatever plane I want. Uh, I can do explode views in here as well see my individual components, take a look at my whole assembly tree, even filter within here. You have all your options on different display styles. 
And this even works on more complex assemblies too. Load up something with a little bit higher part count here. And again, we can see how we can easily manage these more complex assemblies using this new web HTML output. So I'm really excited about this. I think this is going to be really popular. Again, it is only available, the export option for this new web HTML is only available in eDrawings Professional. So that's going to be uh, something you can purchase or it's available with any of your SOLIDWORKS Professional or Premium licenses. You get that complimentary seat of eDrawings Professional. And the export is only available from within eDrawings. So if you want to be doing this export, you need to open your CAD model in eDrawings first and then do a file save as. Make sure you have your eDrawings Pro active, as you should see that Pro logo up there. Do a save as and then choose the web HTML export option instead of the ActiveX method. Okay, and this is again very lightweight, uh, interchangeable HTML file that so far in all my testing has worked great. So those are the types of features that now that all the previous eDrawings Pro features have been pushed down to standard, we're going to be seeing some great new features coming out for eDrawings Professional like this web HTML export. And I'll share links to these uh, documents if you want to play around with them. And other than that, if you have any other questions, please let us know. Otherwise, thanks for watching.